Hello there and welcome to Alton Towers. We're here with Coast Force to experience the new ride 13. Now 13 is actually the next in the line of secret weapon coasters at Alton Towers. And just like its predecessors, it has a world's first element. That one is being kept quite a secret at the moment. The roller coaster is actually made by Intamin and is the very oh, yeah. first yeah. in a brand new range yeah. of Psycoasters. We're not sure what that means yet, we'll probably find out when we're on there. It's going to be a long queue though. Now Alton Towers have been very, very careful to keep as many parts of this coaster and this whole project a secret. So we've been getting little tidbits of information. And one of the things we do know is that the coaster was discovered during a restoration project here at Alton Towers. sneak peek there of one of the special elements this is obviously a backwards section but it starts off forwards so we are getting really close as you can see the ride buildings right there there's a baggage hut so we're gonna to have to get rid of our bags and that also means we're gonna to have to get rid of you the camera see you afterwards have my ride on 13 and it's safe to say it's definitely going to pull out all the surprises for the people out there who love coasters. All that we're left to do now is have a look at everyone else in CF's opinions. Overall it was a good ride. The overall theme very good. Like, I'm impressed with it. The detail. The drop inside would come as a surprise if you don't know what's coming and well, the outside coaster was a bit, it was quite fast, some bits were slow but it was, it was all right overall. They ruined the Daihatsu, that's always funny. It didn't break down very often compared to Saw on opening day. The theme was good. It was really good. The drop inside was really good. It dropped. <laughs> Some say it's been advertised as a bit more of a thrill ride, but I think it gives exactly what it advertises. I thought it was really good. Ride it. Just quickly for the camera, I'm here and spent a little bit of time with Mr. John Wardley, and we all know him in the community. So, this is John. So, what was your inspiration for 13? Why, why a horror thing poster? Well, we wanted to create what we what we call the ultimate poster. And as you well know, coasters are very predictable things. You know what they're going to do. You know, they're going to leave the station, they're going to go up a lift, they're going to go up and down and come back in the station. 
and there isn't the element of surprise. We wanted to create a roller coaster that had surprise and shock and the unexpected mm -hmm. yep. combined with a little bit of drama and a bit of theatre so we could put in the special effects and yeah. so on. We also wanted to create a world's first because as you know all the towers <laughs> likes to do world's firsts. So we had the idea of this free fall drop, a free fall vertical drop mm -hmm. where the, the track actually dropped. And we worked with Intamin on this and um, well, the result is what you see today, and it looks as if people like it. Yeah, it's certainly going down well with the general public, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, was it really a very complicated... Take, we've seen drop towers yeah. to a penny everywhere. Yeah. How difficult was it getting that whole drop tower section into a whole coaster train? It, it was very difficult, because um, you, you've got to synchronise it with the movement of, 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 of the coaster, and also, of course, the sequencing of the thing. I mean, the amazing thing is, in the first hour of operation, this morning we've had more than 1200 an hour through the ride which is incredible mm. I mean normally you only reach theoretical capacity after the operators have been running a ride for about three or four months they actually have exceeded the theoretical capacity in the first hour of operation now in order to do that the sequencing of these trains is unbelievable the speed with which the, the, the drop mechanism resets itself the, the, the next train comes in the doors close drops and, 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 and moves out and then of course the train that's going backwards has got to come, come forward yeah, yeah. again so the sequence of the thing is very very critical and very very complicated indeed so that's taken a long time to work out but um, so far it seems to be working, working yeah, very well not had many problems at all this morning, so that's it's well, there's no working wood working very well. Oh, oh, well there is some wood to, to touch. Wood to touch. Well, thank you for yeah, your time, John. We're just going to let John get back on because he's a very busy man. Any secrets actually on any future projects coming? Well, we've certainly got lots of ideas. Any wood, but uh, but talking of touching wood, <laughs> <laughs> is there going to be a wooden coaster? <laughs> Who knows? Ah. Who knows? Well, oh, okay. you thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank, thank, thank you. I mean, we, the, the support that we get from the coaster enthusiasts is fabulous. And the goodwill. I mean, we, we do look at the various forums and what people are saying. Um, some of them get a little bit sort of uh, tetchy, but generally speaking, most of the enthusiasts are with us. They're behind us. They they know that, that that we're doing everything we can to give them something different, something new, something that they'll like. And and so the support that we we get, certainly in the run up to opening these rides, you know, you get get some forums that oh, it's not going to be ready, and he's not going to be in there overhyping it, and all this kind of nonsense. Does that happen on CF? <laughs> no. <laughs> but generally speaking, we get great support, and it's on days like this when we, when people like you are showing, you know, appreciation for what we're doing, that it makes it all worthwhile. It really does. So thank you all for, for the support that you give us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's pretty much all for me, and uh, I'll see you with the next wide opening. Anything for control.